y'all disregard how I look because I wasn't planning on filming today but it's when this stuff always happens to me when I'm not planning it but went to my local thrift and she was like hey I've been saving a ton of stuff for you because I haven't seen you in a few weeks it's like all designer stuff like Burberry I mean you guys saw like Burberry that boot like Gucci the boot like like Montclair like I didn't get some of it but I did get like the, those Dolce and Gabbana pants and they fit me and they're like for sure like $150 pants so I'll show y'all what I got in a sec, but I spent $60. So I'm really stoked right now. I really needed this. So ton of designer in the thrift. Let's go. All right, y'all just gonna be a short little video of everything I got. I did go to Goodwill before this and spent like six bucks and got some random stuff. Nothing really noteworthy. This cool like single stitch multicolored tee though. Okay, here's everything I just got for 60 bucks. Ton of designer stuff. So first off is just these like super, I don't know, cheap like plaid pants, but they fit me and they were a dollar. So I'll either keep them or like sell them on Depop for like 20 bucks or something. Um, I got a Lacoste polo, Lacoste, Lacoste, however you want to say it. Uh, size four, it's a smaller one. Uh, comps on eBay for like the striped ones are around like 20 or so. So it was two bucks. So I picked that up. A single stitch vintage, like kind of Aztec print pocket tee. Uh, that was two bucks. I got this like sublime tour tee, I think from 2010, I believe. Sublime with Rome back print. 2010 yeah it was uh two bucks i got this terror shirt uh it's a hardcore band and this is a rip of another hardcore band called brotherhood that's actually local to seattle um really really great northwest hardcore band with a really really great message as you guys can see very very sick this was five chance the rapper mid 2000s tour t this was also five i didn't really want to pay five but she was hooking me up with other good stuff so and i saw this one on ebay for like someone had one up for like 20 bucks so i thought why not grab it okay here's where the good stuff starts so i got this like mid 2000s dre uh t the chronic t on this like diamond star definitely like mid 2000s tag it was like 250 so i thought why not pick it up haven't even really looked this one up but i'm sure i could get at least like 20 bucks for it i got this no like little ysl embroidery so i'm kind of bummed about that but this is a ysl dress shirt the colors are just really cool and it was 350 so why not so there's the first like designer little piece new with tags umbro jacket it just needs a clean because it has all this like hair stuck to it but new with the tags and like it has the giant umbro logo like on the sleeves like it's so dope embroidered it's like a track jacket super super sick new with tags that one was half off 15 so super good deals and then here's where we got the big heat so we got this simple burberry blue polo it's an xl this was like eight bucks i had a red one just like this except for the collar was also this color and i sold it for like 60 bucks so at minimum i think we'll get like 30. a ton of people have these like basic ones on depop for like 70 bucks i think that's kind of tripping but yeah at least like 30 40 bucks and that was like eight bucks burberry sport tee I was kind of surprised these like didn't have higher comps on like eBay and stuff when I looked at them, but it's at least like a $30 tee and I got it for half of that. So the Burberry spelled out on the front and then on the back, if it was a bigger size, I'd honestly probably keep it. But I think I'll put it on Depop for like 35 or 40 bucks. And then the best probably is the Dolce & Gabbana pants. They're super like, I think they might be some sort of wool i don't know I, the material is super super nice they were half of 15 bucks they fit me they're just missing a button uh right here so i'll try to replace it maybe see if there's a extra button on the inside or something yeah really really good condition probably the best find super super stoked hope you guys enjoy that short little video i'm probably just going to keep it at that probably be like a 
five, six minute long video. I just think that the finds were good enough to kind of have its own little video, you know? It's not often that you step into like a local small little thrift store and come up on like four designer pieces or so. So I thought it was sick enough to have its own video. Thank you guys for watching. Jackson Bloodless Vintage, that's me. Like, comment, subscribe. Always trying to bring you guys good thrift content, unboxings, trips to the bins, trips to the thrift. You guys know the deal. Thanks so much. Instagram and Depop are in the description. Peace out.